How often have you gone to an event, taken a thousand photos, only to get home and dread the daunting task of going through each of them one by one to pick the best ones? What if I told you that there was a brand new AI powered app that would do all of this work for you? And in this video, I'm gonna show you some key features of Swipe that's really helped me and my workflow and why I think that Swipe's gonna add so much value to any iPhone photographer or filmmaker out there. Let's do this. Now I'm not joking here. Swipe has revolutionized the way that I sort through my photos and videos on my iPhone. It's an AI powered app that is designed to clean and organize your camera roll effortlessly. Effortless. Lee, I can't say that word, but you know what I mean. And when the guys at Reflex reached out to me and asked if I wanted to test this app out, well, you know me, I jumped at the chance. So when you power up the app, you will see that it's got a nice, clean interface. Right in front of you, you'll see the overview. Now this is gonna be a really cool section. It's gonna give you lots of great stats. And we're gonna jump into that a bit later. But first, I wanna scroll down to Similars because this is what really excited me. And I'm gonna jump into that photos part of that. And what you can see here in this nice clean interface is that Swipe has organized all of my photos by similarity. Now I can scroll right through my camera phone right here like this, and it's gone through my whole camera roll and organized all of my photos and trying to find all of the similar photos and group them together. Now, if I click into a collection, you can see that I've got in this one, I've got three similar photos. Now what Swipe has done is taken it a step further. Not only is it showing me the similar photos in my camera roll, but it's making a suggestion on which photo I should keep. It looks at a bunch of things like focus, sharpness, composition, and it recommends the one that you should keep. Now, if I scroll through here, you can see clearly this one here is blurry. This one, subject's not even looking at the lens, but this one, the one that is recommended, perfect photo, looking directly at the lens, composition is perfect. Now, how impressive is that? I'll tell you, this has saved me so much time and effort. Now, I'm gonna go back and check out another collection. See this one right here. You can see three similar photos. This is the one that Swipe has picked. These are the ones that it's discarded. I mean, look at this one. They're not very, very good at all. This one, eyes are closed, a bit blurry. This one, looking in the lens, that is the best one of the bunch. I mean, we can go again. I can scroll through all of these photos here. I can check them out. Look at the ones that it's recommended. This one, the composition is clearly better than this one. We could scroll again even further. Let's look at this collection right here. The photo that is selected here compared to this one with the eyes slightly closed and it's so, so, so cool. Even when it's really hard to tell the difference, Swipe will just take the pressure off your shoulder. No more procrastinating over similar shots to try and figure out what is the best one. It will just select the best one and you can discard the rest. And for whatever reason, you wanna change the recommendation. It's easy to change it. Go into a collection and then you can toggle between keep or trash in the top right. You can see there, look, I'm, I'm toggling it there. You can also go on this screen here and I can toggle between the ones that I wanna keep. I might wanna trash both, I might wanna keep both. It's up to you. And when you're done sorting through all of your similar photos, just tap on those three dots on the top right and you can then keep all of them or you can just delete all of the ones that you've selected and it's that easy. Man, I just decluttered my whole camera roll in a quarter of the time. We're not gonna stop there because if I go to the explore menu on the bottom, I can see my whole camera roll now sorted by year. Now I can hit 2025 from here and then I can go into a specific month. So I'm gonna hit on February. And what you can see here is now all the photos I took in February. Now before I do this, I would have got rid of all the similars. So you might see some similars in here as I go through it. But as I go through this, I can now got the option to swipe left or right. Left to discard, right to keep. And I can go through these and say, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that one. That one's pretty cool. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Gonna get rid of that one. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. And as I'm going through that month, you can see at the bottom that the app, the swipe app, the AI engine in the app is now scoring 
each and every one of those photos. These are the best of the best photos. These are the photos that the AI engine has recommended as the best of the bunch. Now it uses AI again to score each photo based on aesthetic and technical qualities. And you can see here, some of these I've got at 70%, some at 59%. I can tap on the 70% one, I can have a look at it, and I can also scroll across. You can see the ones that at the bottom there, 52%. And those are the categories. That's the AI scoring mechanism. Now, if I come out of this and go back to the home screen and go right to the top, I've now got a section called best of. When I hit that, that is basically all of the AI scored photos in one place. And it's the best ones at the top all the way to the bottom where they start to get into the 70%, 50%. So now I can hit on that icon on the top right and I can create a photo album. So I could take the top AI scored photos and create a nice album to put them in. So here I'm just gonna call this album Portrait Shots. There we go. Now I can select the best one. Now it's ordered it by AI score, so I know that that first one is the best of the best. So I'm gonna select that one, I'm gonna select that one, and maybe select that one as well. Maybe not that one, this one here. And now I'm gonna create that album. Bang, and it's done. It's created that album for me. Now if I go back to the home screen, we can now go into the overview. This is a really cool dashboard. It's got all sorts of advanced analytics around your media. I can see things like how many items I've deleted, the space saved. In the swipe section, I can see how many I've got left to review. I can get the gallery breakdown and categorizes it by videos, by photos, by live photos. I've got so much information there to help me manage my media and my camera roll. I'm seriously impressed with this app and how useful it has been. It has improved my workflow tremendously. Now I know the guys at Reflex have got a little bit of a roadmap and there's lots of cool stuff coming in the future. Things like backups and widgets and other AI features that are coming in this app. If you're interested in trying this app, I will leave a link below. I'm telling you now, if you are a creator, photographer, videographer, and you're using a smartphone, you are going to find this app really useful. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you want to learn more about photography with your iPhone, please just check out this video right here. And I'll see you in the next one. So this one, I think, smiling a little bit more. Or maybe this one, smiling. That one, this, is it?